Hey, welcome to footage of Gary's mod on the Alienware 14. This is uh, quite an old game now. First release, I believe, in 2006, so eight years old. However, the graphics do look really good here, obviously, because it does take on the textures of other games, such as you know Half-Life 2 or Counter-Strike or uh, Left 4 Dead, etc. So it does look quite nice. Uh, this is a sandbox physics game, and you can do quite a lot with it. So you can either, I'm playing by myself now, and you can kind of spawn things and mess around with the physics. Or you can play multiplayer maps, such as uh, Murder, Jailbreak, and these are kind of run by admins, and they can, you know, basically the world's your limit. You can do what the hell you like. So this is on completely maxed maximum graphics quality, if I quickly show you. I have got this in window mode, uh, as for some reason Fraps did not like it at all in the full screen mode. So I'm going to options here, video 1920 by 1080, put pop to advanced, model detail high, everything is on high or very high, it's basically the maximum you can get it, including anti-aliasing and the filtering mode, uh, completely maxed out. So go back to the game. The frame rates do not drop below 30, they do not go above 30 either, so I believe it's capped to that level. That's even if you put the V-Sync on or off, uh, so that's worth bearing in mind. But obviously 30 is perfect, um, you wouldn't recognise it if it was any higher than that. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly walk around to see what the textures are. And as I said, there's no, no slowdown, no stuttering, and it's whizzing around here. Obviously, it's not the most graphics-intensive game out there, you know, compared to say, you know, Crisis Free. But once you spawn lots of objects, uh, it does push the physics side of the GPU, and you can actually crash the game, depending on what you drop and how many you drop. Uh, if I quickly show you, so we've got a queue. So this thing here is quite big. I'm dropping one here, but if you were to spam the key and drop, you know, 20 or 30 the frame rates would drop down to one, um, so I'm not going to advise you to do that. But I'm just going to drop a few things and um, have a little play around. The sofas. I'm not sure these are plastic crates. So, I'm going to whip out my SMG. So, See what happens when I drop something in here. Oh, that's the most smallest object I've ever seen in my life. Ah, some propane. Oh, I can't blow that up, unfortunately. Nice shotgun. Just thought I would show you another map to see uh, the graphics quality. As you can see, it's uh, it's really nice. I, I do like it. I like the kind of it's very clean. I think the word is. So let's drop a couple of things. I haven't actually had a proper look at this. Hoverballs and you can drop characters. So what the hell's this gun? Weld. Hmm. RPG. Okay, let's try that. Okay, um, let's go back and see if we can drop a character. I'm not actually sure how to do this. It's not it. Ah, there we go. Some nice... I was kind of, ah, there he, he did spawn, but uh, they seem to be dead, which is um, quite sad, really. So, as I said, you can mess around with the physics, so I'm going to try and get a gravity gun. There we go. Not actually sure how you use this. I haven't got a clue what that is I just spawned. It looks like that alien face hugger thing, but with rockets on it. Okay, <laughs> what else is there? Um, what bus or train or something? Don't know what that is. It's kind of <laughs> moving quickly. Um, wheels. So literally, there's so much you can do with this game. And just basically have a little mess around and try to spawn lots of other things. See if we can crash this game. 
Oh, I'm not sure where they spawned. Oh well. <laughs> uh, obviously Half-Life 2, so... Hmm. Well, as I said, uh, I can mess around with this game all night long, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, as I said, I hope you enjoy it, and I do recommend picking it up if you kind of like those kind of creative sandbox games. But uh, anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, and take care.